on board here, board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Don't kill me! <sighs> Oh, is that you? Uh, why, why are you looking at me like that? Why do you have a bat? I felt like something was off, and there was this weird feeling that something was wrong. And oh, 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 I. <sighs> I'm sorry. That, that 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 was that was my fault. I I I realize that now. But what, what, why were you doing that? <sighs> Memory of training in which I almost died. What? Oh yeah, it was terrifying. I mean, he legit asked how strong I was. I don't know. I wasn't and. Yeah. He told me to survive this, or at least it'll be a quick death. I thought he was kidding until... Cause yeah, he he feels around his chest. Is there? He has a scar. As in Pachi's just trying to cleave him through. You survived that. Well, he was holding back. He has eye patch on and whatnot, but still. This... Ugh. That training is not for everyone. He was literally trying to kill me. No. Well, not as hard as he could have been, but... That would have killed me if I was any weaker. I'm starting to regret my decision of allowing you to go there. Uh, don't worry, Mom. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, that's right. That's why I came in the first place. Besides the fear. Um. <clears throat> Either way, it, it's you. A. It. Today's your first day. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh man. I. Oh. I'm sorry. Uh. But thank you. Uh. Bye. Uh. uh I'll, I'll get dressed and ready and whatever else I need to do. Just. Thanks, mom. No problem. Next time, please try not to do that. I've been getting some complaints. Uh, oh, well, oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. As yes, this is about the time as soon as he does approach you, a he's. This is it. I, I can't believe this. I trained so much, went through so much hell, and now this is gonna be crazy. As yes, as soon as he does approach the door, he sees like, oh my God, do I have a now, do we have giants here? That'll be awesome, and I wonder how strong they are. If they unless they allow me to fight them, if, fight them. Oh, crazy! Now, now I'm starting to act like him. <sighs> oh, this is gonna be a pain. If I can't get this under control. As Yes. Everyone's looking at him. Bakugo just turning his head. He's still stunned after what happened last time. To the point where... Like, mm, bastard. However, it's pretty much weird for Bakugo. 
he's always been the top dog here in their middle school, but Izuku being the way he is now, he, Izuku don't flip the square, square a little bit, you could say. So Bongo doesn't really know what to do here. It's like someone just took what was uh, seen as a big deal or whatnot to him. Uh, what the hell? If I'm not top dog anymore, if Izuku actually has power, if he can actually It's pretty much going through his mind. Though, yes, he does still know he has a strong quirk. It's the fact that Izuki was able to pretty much put the fear of God into him. You could say. It's one thing for Izuku to at least get a quirk. Still be a little bit scared, but he's faced death countless times. Near death. When it comes to Kenpachi. Kenpachi does not give zero fucks who you are. These hands are ready here for everyone. And that is a fact. He doesn't care what or who you are. You step to him. He gonna step back up. So yeah. Izuku being with someone who. When it comes to Bakugo. Though he does have the power, he is somewhat more hesitant. As well as him not wanting to really kill anyone. Kimbaji will. Without hesitation, if he feels it necessary. When it comes to that, that one's a quick apprehension test, he wants Izuku to go first. Not only because he got the highest test score, but also, like, let's see this power of his is actually an honest to god quirk or something entirely different though he did try to test his little theory in the interest exam he's still not sure Baltro, they see this energy again and as I as raise his eyes Izuku is still using it and he's not infinity but it's gonna be hard to beat Bakugo looking like you had a quirk this whole time. Him looking at as I was like, wait, what's with your eyes? As he sees Aizawa with a shocked, terrified, worrisome expression. What are you? Look at Zuku. Like, what are you talking about? That's not a quirk. <clears throat> that... What the? You're a racer head. Now I remember you. <laughs> Wait. Racer head? Who the hell? He can nullify quirks. Bungo now is a lot more. What? He can. So, wait, what you were using? Everyone just looking at Izuku was like. That wasn't a quirk? No. I just trained a lot to get this power. And. As then we have a flashback to the locker room. Kirishi was the first one to see it, but. Yeah, he sees the scars. On Izuku's back, his arm, even his chest. So, what happened to you? Training. What kind of animal does that? <laughs> Izuku just holding his shoulders, his elbows. <sighs> uh, 
terrifying beast. It wears no one wants to come across when he's had a bad day. He has a terrible sense of direction, but one thing's for sure. Pissing him off is a lot worse. He can only pray for a quick death with him. And that's if he doesn't want to play with you first. He likes to test his opponents. He enjoys fighting so much. He let me get the first few licks in until I bored him. Then he brought down his sword. This one on my chest was the first of many to come. So yeah, flash forward, Bongo realizes that wasn't a joke. He wasn't trying to be like over dramatic, exaggerating. So he's wondering who trained him? Who could put the fear of God that deep into somebody? And so be easily willing to kill. <sighs> well, that's just Kenpachi being himself, right? Now, isn't it? So when it comes to that, the Kurogapu head to test is over. Izuku. He is actually first place. Though he didn't get infinity like Oraka, he's second when it comes to the ball throw. But then there's chatter over the girl's side because they're just thinking, so Jiro was all that he, do you really believe like whoever trained him was a real monster? Whoever would do such a thing to their student is not someone to be trifled with. If he's willing to do that to someone he's training, imagine what he would do to an enemy who upset him. Hell, Manel doesn't even find the people overhearing Izuku's story. He's just terrified, wondering how strong is Izuku now? At the very least, he does tell them how weak he used to be until Kimpachi showed up. But still, it's kind of like... He is amazingly lucky to be able to live. Which, yes. Yes, he is. Very much. Now, let us get to uh, after. You know, school's over, everything's peachy and whatnot, at least it should be. And we open up to Izuku in his bedroom, him just training up, trying to look at more hero videos. Though he is still somewhat a fanboy, it's really just to note any weaknesses. Since he didn't have no real means of communication or looking at the internet when he was training with Kenpachi, he couldn't really record Kenpachi's and his uh, sparring sessions. So, yeah. The only way you can really try to figure out Kenpachi's weaknesses is possibly to survive the onslaught. But then he's he is crying. Him walking out of his room is that, wait, is that mom? Him going to Inko's room. She's sleeping. Where is this crying coming from? Him just like, okay, weird, weird. So he decides to go outside and go for a little workout, a little run. This is when he, the crying gets louder right outside his door. Is 
What the? Who are you? I think he sees a little girl. Why are you crying? A bad person. What? A bad person hurt me and my mom. Really? Okay. Can I explain? And apparently, this was a villain attack. Or at least, a robbery. What I mean by this is pretty much someone broke in and decided to. And I say, mom and daughter did not survive. Them looking for a motherfucker, but never finding him. Ezekiel's. What the fuck? How could they not find this guy? I mean. She said, I know who it is. He was like, okay, then tell, tell me. Just, upon getting everything, he realized, wait, I know this guy. I was, I was, yeah, there's this whole news case about it. How? So that was him? Wait, then why didn't they arrest him? Well, one, they forgot to read him his Miranda rights. Same way Freddy Krueger got off. Not in that way. That's not what I meant. Either way. Two. He had a quote unquote alibi. And three. He has a lot of money and could possibly bribe anyone he needs to. So, yikes. Izuku, he's feeling something. He's like, okay. Okay, so they can catch this guy. Wait, why are you here? I heard you could see us. By who? Who could? And she just says, this tall man with bells in his hair, carrying a sword. One of his eyes is scarred, and the one has an eye patch on it. There's a rock, hey? Damn it! So he told... Who else did he tell? I don't know. He just told me after I told him my story and asked for help. I saw they could see me, so I wanted to see if he could possibly help me. Oh, okay. So what does he want me to do? He said you would know how to take care of it. <coughs> Flashback. <sighs> Alright, kid, listen. Yeah, she won't be a hero, but sometimes you're going to have to get your hands a little dirty. What I mean by that, sometimes villains, at least from what I've seen, can uh, get their ways out, get away uh, with some things, some very nasty things. To the point where the people who are affected don't get their justice. So, what you do, I, uh, I have foreign authorities, we collect evidence, wrong, wrong, here's what you do, you take care of it yourself, what, take care of it, as yes, Kibachi brings down his sword and destroys Fifty trees with one slash. Fully grown trees. Izuku. So you want me to? Now you're catching on. But isn't that illegal? Like, not if you don't get caught. Or 
at least. You're... You let them know that your actions are justified. If you do, you may still serve time and whatnot, but still, you'll be a hero to the people who are affected. And trust me, when it comes to villains, a lot of people can be affected. Flash forward, it's like, <sighs> yeah, yeah, I, I know exactly what he meant. So, question, where's your mom? Huh, what? Yeah. Oh. She's her taking him back to their old house. It was just she shows him that her mom is still there crying as well. For some reason, there's a hole in the middle of her chest. It's like, uh, no. Then start seeing. A bit of a chain starting to. Is no 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 oh 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 no 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 no, that's that's bad. That's that's very bad. Little girl don't know what she she talking about. You need to stay away from your mommy right about now. Is she just runs straight in there, hugging mom, saying. Everything's gonna be okay. She found someone who could see them that would be able to help. Izuku looks and sees part of her face is looking a little mask like. Fuck. I ain't got much time. I. Isn't this voice is. So. How is he going to help us? No one could help us. We did everything right. But he's still... He's still free. There's nothing he, he can do. Nothing anyone can do. Zugu, he's heartbroken as well as scared. He you knows what this woman will be capable of. And look at her! Her daughter who does not want to leave her side. A soul! A nice light snack for a hollow. And you know, Zuku knows if he can't fix this, chances are no way she's gonna be turned to a hollow and he might have to kill her, definitely. The daughter's gonna be the appetizer. So Zigu, he just goes home. He packs up some supplies, or at least something that will help him. As well as thinking, okay, so I don't want no one to see my face, so let's see, I'm gonna need this, this, and this. Uh, trying to make it like, okay, now I need the, the, this. As yes, Izuku is pretty much all disguised up. He has a wig. He's actually changed, made his skin a little bit more feminine. Only thing is, uh, he ain't got the right assets. The way he does, he gets start <laughs> filling a bunch of socks into his chest. It's like okay. I'm ready. Yo, Rory, what? Why? Well, I don't want people to know it's me. So you'll be our hero? You actually want to help us? Of course. I can't believe I'm doing this. Him just grabbing his bamboo sword and... Take me to where he is. As this is pretty much 
So this is the bastard's house. Him seeing a multitude of guards is he knows it's something off there. He can sense the spirit energy. It's just off. They all have the same kind of line, but it's almost like it's all connected and it's very minuscule. More than normal people. And then he realizes wait. Him's okay. him just throwing a rock. Knocking off a mask. And seeing like, wait, okay. Wait, so he he's his own bodyguard? Then he just throws another one. He's, that's his quirk. He can make duplicates. Huh. So that's how we got the alibi. As he starts snapping pictures and whatnot too. He he yeah, he brought a camera with his with him, so he's gathering more and more evidence as he's getting closer and closer. Then there is a special room that seems highly suspect. He opens it and this guy is loaded. He has videotapes, or at least footage, of every crime he's committed, at least every very illegal one, and just hangs them up on a wall, like they're trophies. When Izuku just sees, okay, this, this date and this, I don't want to watch these. But I have to make sure that they know it's here. Him destroying the door to the room. And as soon as twice, yes, I said twice, shows up. It's, who the hell are you? I'm your judge. Here to carry out your sentence. What? No, wait, no, I should say executioner. For your crimes, it's death. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You and what army? As all his duplicates just gather around in that one large area of the room. I am the army. As Izuku starts slashing and hacking into each and every one of the duplicates with ease. So yeah, twice is like, wow, this kid, he's not bad. The only thing is, yeah, Izuku's slowly in the nose. Okay, so these, I see no blood. I don't see no flesh being torn or anything. So if anything, I'm not really killing several kajillion people. I'm just killing a... Fakes. That's when he gives it to you, and it was like, Very well played. Very well played. Hey, how about this? How about you work for me? Huh? Yeah, come on. Like, I have a lot of money, and I can certainly use someone like you on my side, definitely. And think about it. You get paid well, there are lots of benefits. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. No way. Uh. Oh, well. I tried. As he pulls out two Uzis and starts unloading a multitude of multitude of bullets. Play on killing Izuku in the first place and it's like... Are you done? As soon as the last clip is empty, it's like... What? No, 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 no. That, that is so unfair. I call bullshit. Now, don't I owe you a painful, agonizing death? It's just then the little girl shows up, and so is the mother. Her still slowly becoming more and more hollow like. As. 
Can you see them? What? See what? The people you've heard. Uh, I did nothing wrong. Oh yeah, what about your little video collection? And your alibis? Huh? Uh, 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 I... Yeah. As then more ghosts start showing up. Some of them partially starting to turn to hollows. Others just looking as they watch Izuku carve up twice. Him screaming, him yelling. He lives in a bit far away. But enough so far as someone going to hear all of them yellings, as well as being able to call the police. But when it comes to the twice his final moments, what he sees is everyone. And I do mean everyone he's ever wronged and killed. As his spirit passes on. I'm just kidding. He becomes a ghost too. Izuku just grabbing him by the neck and I'm dead. Yes, you are. But then me as he just infuses his bamboo sword with spirit energy is like let me make sure you stay dead. Stabbing him right in the head. As then every ghost has passed on. But not before the mother finally feels at peace and disregards the whole holification as well as the little girl running in to Zuku, hugging him, thanking him for helping. But this is where the police show up and it's this blood on poor Izzy's hands. He don't have no choice but to run while he's flashed up the fuck out of there. They saw a silhouette of him, but uh, he made sure to spray some pneumonia on anything that may have had his, you know, essence or DNA on. So if he, so even if they do uh, get any suspects, uh, can't really collect the sample. When the news actually starts shedding light to what happened, they're from. What the hell are we gonna do? Should, should we thank the guy or. Should we uh, have him sent to Tartarus or something? What are we gonna do here? Uh, I don't. We should die. Uh, all my. Is yes, even all my is torn. Like I've been wanting to capture this bastard for years. I want to thank this whoever he is, but I, I also, according to the law, we have to arrest him. So, what we do? All my music turn. Well, tell the public we were looking for him. But what we actually do? We try to. provide cover. What? He's a vigilante in which he should be arrested. But what he's doing, I don't agree with his methods, but I don't know. I So we're protecting him for as long as we can, but in the public eye, we need to we put on a facade that we're doing what we can to find him and bring him to justice. But if we 
you see him in public, in public eye, we will arrest him. Whether he, or not he escapes, well, we all know what his quirk is now, do we? Uh, right. As, yeah, this is the day of the whole, now we're going to time to get to the heroes versus villains, shall we? The teacher was saying, Eizuku's just all too happy. Oraga, she sees a devilish smile and is like, oh, okay, who, what, what's going to happen now? As soon as it begins, Izuku, he already just shoots out his spirit energy and just completely paralyzes Bakugo and Ida. When it comes to Oraga, she's terrified, but him outstretching his hands like, don't worry, I won't hurt you. Yeah, she just feels safe. She feels like, why... Despite how you're acting, what you're doing, I, I'm not scared of you. Why? I'm not scared of you anymore. I don't want you to be scared of me. Her blushing, Izuku's like, are you coming or not? <laughs> wait, 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 what do you mean by, uh, come on, we got, we have to finish the test, don't we? Oh, oh, that's what you meant. Oh, um. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. Man, uh, just in the background, I knew exactly what she thought. Him both get curved so that he was like, we can't. He's not wrong. You were thinking the same thing when she said that. So they win. All my is actually very impressed. It's pretty much, well, this young man's power hmm it can really be useful but hmm. the way he carries himself he's calm cool how do you know that whatever he did was gonna work maybe I found who I should give this quirk to. No. No. It's too soon to... Way too soon. As yes. Now it's over. Bongo, he is upset that he lost, but... Considering that feeling he had... It, it was pretty much him, like... No, no, no. Lose, losing a fight is one thing. Losing my life is a whole nother. Ida, still a bit petrified with fears. What the hell was that? Why did I feel like my life was in, honest to God, danger? Weren't we supposed to be the villains? Is Isuku hymns? I'm sorry for scaring you. It's just a part of my ability. Right. Since you technically are quirkless. Yes. Well, I must say you. You definitely have. Uh. The interesting abilities. Uh, I guess all that terrifying training was worth it. Yes, it was to an extent, definitely. If anything, I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy. At least if not after a weak willed. Right. As yes, this is him going home, but this one he knows is uh, something's off. Him bursting it through the door, and he sees, hmm, 
Who are you? Uh, this is a man saying he's a lawyer? Huh? Yeah, he wants to talk to you for some reason. I'm not sure why.